Hi, my name is Joy Morin from ColorInMyPiano.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use um, a set of image files, their um, PNG files and vector SVG files in your projects, whether in Microsoft Word or using Canva.com. So uh, what I'm showing you here are a set of hand-drawn music notes and symbols, which I created and have available on my website, colorinmypiano.com slash shop. If you go to the shop area, you'll see where you can purchase this set. Once you make the purchase, you will receive an email with a zipped folder with containing all of the images. There are 55 designs and two different file formats are provided to you. So here in the uh, PNG folder, you can see the PNG versions of all of the designs. So these are image files that have a transparent background, which is nice if you might be working on a project that has a colored background and you want to drag this in. You won't have any white surrounding the image. You'll just have the transparent background and then the symbol. Uh, these PNG files are all colored black, as you can see. Um, so uh, I did also provide to you the SVG vector versions of those same 55 designs. Now the advantage of using the SVGs for your projects is that these can be recolored. Um, so just as an example, I'll go ahead and um, choose one of these. These also do have the transparent background even though my preview here doesn't show it. But I'll go ahead and drag one of these into a uh, Microsoft Word project here. Oops, let me try that again. So I'll drag this into my Word project. There it is, okay. So now I'm going to select the image, the file. I'm gonna to go to the graphics format here. And here we, you can see where you can change the fill color. So um, you can see it's set to orange right now, so I can go ahead and change it to orange, but I can also click this drop down to change it to any color that I would like. Um, and there's even more colors. If you go to more fill colors, you can um, really take a look at all the color um, options for you. Okay, so that's how it works with Microsoft Word. You can just drag the SVG in files right into your project and resize them and do whatever you'd like. You can, you can even rotate them to make them look maybe kind of playful, give them a, a slight angle. Yeah, okay. So now let me show you what you can do with Canva. Okay, so I've loaded Canva and I just have a, a blank document open here. Now what I'm going to do is go to the uploads area. You can see I've already loaded in the 55 SVG files into here. Um, but for you to do that, if you if you haven't done it yet, you would go to the SVG folder. You can see I have 55 files in here. I can hit command A to select all of them at once. And then I can click and drag If it'll let me, yeah, and I could just let go and they would all start loading into Canva. I won't do it now because I don't want duplicates. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it with maybe just one of them. So if I just select one of these, you just so you can watch and see what it does. So it starts thinking and loading. And then once they're loaded, they are ready for you to start using in your designs. All you have to do is simply uh, click on whatever you know image that you choose. We'll do that base clef again okay and then as long as that is selected you should see this box in the corner for the color so if I click that you can see all the colors come up here so I could change this to you know a nice blue gray <laughs> any any color that you would like and then I could bring in some more and um, as before you, you can um, resize rotate these do whatever you'd like and just bring in others So that's basically how it works in Canva. The nice thing about th this with Canva is that anytime you navigate to this uploads folder for future projects, these images will always be here waiting for you, ready to go. So that's how it works. I hope you enjoy using the hand-drawn image files and uh, happy designing.